Call Me Can't Communicate Season 2, Episode 2. So, yeah, parang four and four stories and a bonus. Pero, as the, as the final scene, hindi ko ikaw as final scene yun. Well, kayo na bahala magano nun, ma, ma, panoorin, alright? So, first story involves Komi all dressed up, but the moment she stepped out the door, she has nowhere to go. Kasi, may bagyo pala! <laughs> Ang ganda na forma niya, ayun, nab- biglang nabasa ng ulan. <laughs> so, well, anyway, second story. Um, ayun na, afternoon classes. So, uh, pasok na silang lahat. Ito naman si Yamang, iuminan na naman ang pagka-stalker nito. She wants to see Kobe's panties. Yung results doon, panoorin nyo na lang. Third story. Um, she saw uh, an ad about, a TV ad about a, uh, a cat cafe. So, nung sa klase, she tried um, uh, asking the gang out, pero everybody was busy. So, she tried si, ano naman, si, si Makiru. Pumayag si Makiru, so pumunta sila. Fourth and final story. What? Um, Yamai, Najimi, and, well, eventually Tadano were playing an I Love You game. And, well, Komi played it really, really well. Final scene. Nag, uh, nag-excuse muna siya sa mga sa barkada. And, uh, sina- well, yeah, in a way, sinabi niya kailan na Jimmy na she's going to the restroom. Eh, uh, the moment she came out of that classroom, bigla na siyang gumanon sa, sa pader. And, well, she thought, uh, she's, she's glad it was over. Pero, well, well this was the romantic part. I wish she I wish he would say something. Inaano ko mga kalayo sa medyo kinilig ako dun. <laughs> Alright? So, again, yung bonus scene, panoorin nyo na lang. Alright? And I'm very sure you're going to enjoy it. But anyway, um, we'll still be impartial here. Okay, folks? We'll still be impartial here. We're gonna break that episode down now. Critics of style. Base. Of course, the usual comic can't communicate pace kasi four stories. So medyo yeah, sabihin natin na mabilis yung pacing pero hindi ito yung tipo ng bilis na wala ka maintindihan. It's four stories pero magigess mo la, magigess mo lahat ng storya nila. And you would totally feel for Komi. That I guarantee you. Kaya, well, do I have complaints? Hell no! Right? Again, for the nth time, this is the pacing Komi Can Communicate is known for. Flow naman! First gear shift. Well, teka. The biggest gear shift here, well, there, there are only two actually. The, the first big gear shift here was yung um what you call this? No. Divine Providence um, worked its magic, so to speak, and yep, foiled ah, uh, ah, uh, what you call this? Foiled Yamai's plans to to actually see Kobe's panty. Pero why did I call it a gear shift, mga kalay start? Well, simple lang. Um, the gods. <laughs> Funny as it may seem, but the gods are working overtime also to protect Komi. Biggest gear shift here, the second one, was yung... Um... What you call this? The final scene. Eh, yung sinabi kong final scene, we're in... Uh... Well, medyo umami na rin si Komi yung... Na, that she really wants Tadano to... To be out with it. No brainer of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi... But... We can say na talagang... Well, may feelings na rin siya kay Tadano eh. Ever since um, the final five episodes of season one, medyo halata na siya. Oi, bonus gear ship. We go back to the first story. 
it is the first time na talagang nag-usap sila Tadano at Komi over the phone. As in yung medyo mahaba na yung mga sentences ni Komi. You, you know that scene, guys, if you've seen the episode? Yup. That too is a no-brainer of a gearship and I almost forgot. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. That's an that's the most no-brainer of uh, of all of all the gear shifts here. So these three gear shifts that I saw, the um the final and bonus gear shift that I uh, that I mentioned, yeah, I could really feel it in my bones that these two gear shifts will play uh, a huge role in season two, further down the line. Plot wise, what can I say? Planchado, mga ka lifestyle. Again, the transitioning, the least you could describe it is impressive. Okay? Talagang impressive ang transitioning. Believe ako sa, believe ako talaga sa anime na to. When it comes to uh, transitioning between stories. Akal, eh, binun nyo na ba naman? Multi-story episode ito. So, you can lose track of how to transition from, from one story to the next. Kasi apat to eh. May bonus pa. So, you, you, you got the tendency to lose track. Pero hindi eh. Yung, siguro yung bonus, parang mukhang nakalimutan ng OLM na, na isinch in yun before the final story. Pero, it's okay. It's okay. You can also assume that that bonus sequence can also be passed off as, um, as a as another story kumbaga so pace flow and plot they all came together for this episode folks so call me cat communicate season 2 episode 2 easy pa mm. two thumbs up you know hindi ko na patatagalin ang, ang review na to patreon mga ka lifestyle kasi I got nothing to say practically uh, when it came to this episode. Kasi, the, pace, the pacing that Komi is known for, nandun. Yung transitioning between stories, yup, andun pa rin. And, the progression of the main pro tag from, of course, from season 1 na talagang, she's really having a hard time uh, communicating with people. And dito sa episode na to, she had yeah, her communication disorder extends to even animals sometimes. So she's taken uh she's been taking these baby steps up until this episode. Talagang uh especially yung final scene wherein talagang she would really wish for Tadano to say something. In I love you game pa sila. <laughs> eh di la, wa, wala, lalo wala sinabi yung tao <laughs> lalo na hiya so ne, the first one to notice this one was na Jimmy okay so yun nga medyo ano eh medyo tinot niya rito si si Tata ne oy Tata no ano yung ano yung post na yan ano yung big sabihin yan <laughs> Guma, gumano na si na Jimmy and you also get to see how how Tommy's gang uh, are taking their own steps to uh, to help her out, to help her out with her communication disorder. How, um, what you call this? How motivated they are in helping Komi get through this communication disorder. So, nila na atuway, nila na atuwas sa anime na to, right? It's not just it's not just for the romance elements that's uh, that makes it good. Eh. It's the um the relatability of of the characters and the storyline itself there is such a communication disorder kaya <clears throat> pangit man o oh, kasing ganda ni Komi pwede ka rin magkaroon nito right so it's also um Komi can communicate can also be um a good herald for mental health awareness yep kasi mga communication disorders usually that's a that's a mental health issue that's a mental health issue kaya Wag nating uh, wag nating i-misinterpret ang mga to. Bagkus, you need to be friends around them. So, yun na lang. So again, Comic Can Communicate, 
Season 2, Episode 2! Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Komi, mga ka-lifestyle. Ay, naku, tatalo. Huwag ka naman baka torpe. Hinihintay ka na nga ni Komi. So, Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for you, and for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, ay, yun ang magagawa ko. Eh, di chill-chill lang muna kay Jan. I'll just watch you chill. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.